So you're watching your favorite content creator or streamer play video games and their nice gaming chair and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, man, those look really cool. Everyone's got one. They look super comfortable. I got to get one of these things. Don't do it. Hey guys, Ben Brown 20 back again with another video and this time we're talking about gaming chairs and why I feel you should maybe hold off if you're thinking about making that big purchase. Gaming chairs are very expensive. If you're looking online for a gaming chair, it doesn't really matter what brand it is. They are hundreds of dollars, sometimes in the thousands. I mean, I, I kid you not, really. The chair that I'm sitting in right now was very expensive. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, why is he telling us not to get a gaming chair when every time I see this guy, he's either streaming in his chair or he's making a video and he's always sitting in a gaming chair. Well, let me just tell you, hopefully here soon, you will not see me in this gaming chair because I am looking for a different chair. I'm not happy with this at all. I've been stuck in this chair for several years, which tells you I have a lot of experience with these kinds of chairs. This isn't my first one. This isn't my first rodeo. And I'm pretty much done with them because honestly, they're a big scam. They're not very comfortable, especially for long sessions. These chairs, in my opinion, are not meant for hours and hours of gameplay, okay? Maybe if you're sitting down for an hour or so, it's not too bad, but they're just really not designed, in my opinion, for like really long play sessions. They like to put stupid things like these pillows, right? Like that are just more decorative than anything. Doesn't really serve a purpose. They try to say that like, oh, this is a nice little headrest for you. I mean, I mean, get it out of here. You don't really need it. I mean, my head's I mean, I'm not laying down in this chair. I didn't buy this chair to take a nap. You know what I'm saying? So get that crap out of here. They put another pillow like for lumbar support, you know, like on the back. I mean, they really make these things look, you know, luxurious and like high end. And it makes you think like, oh man, I can justify, you know, spending this kind of money on this chair when honestly, when you break it down, it's made out of a lot of plastic. The material isn't as high quality as you think it is. It's comfortable for short sessions, but if you're playing for very, very long sessions, I don't care what gaming chair you have. Please leave a comment below. I know this may be a heated topic. I know a lot of people may be like, you know, want to defend their chair, you know, especially if you spent like a lot of money, like $500 plus on your chair, you're probably like, man, what's this guy saying? I wasted my money. I love this thing. Well, if you love your chair and you love your purchase, that's fine. But what I'm telling you is there's better options out there. Now, the chair that I'm looking at, there's so many different options. You can go to like an Office Max, a Staples, anywhere that sells like really nice office furnitures and supplies. And what you're looking for are the performance chairs, okay? They are office chairs that are designed specifically for people who work at home or in an office and they're hunched over on their computer for eight hours, 10 hours out of day. Those are the chairs you're looking for, okay? Because those are specifically designed for you to be working while sitting. And if you're playing a video game or streaming or editing a video, you're gonna want a chair like that because I tell you what, it's night and day. I've sat, and set, I've sat down in several different of those chairs in the stores and it's like night and day compared to the chair that I'm sitting in right now. Now these gaming chairs, they like to tell you like, oh, these are specifically designed with gamers in mind. Oh, you got adjustable armrests. You got this, you got that. You can like lay all the way back. Can your chair do this? And like they're laying back and it's just, you're buying a gaming chair to play video games in, right? You're not buying a video, you're not buying a gaming chair to lay down and take a nap. I mean, who cares if your stupid chair can do that? I mean, I'm looking for a chair that's comfortable. That's going to give me nice back support. I'm a bigger dude. I'm six foot three. My back isn't that great. So I, I need some good support. These lumbar supports that they put with these stupid pillows and stuff does nothing for you. I mean, it really doesn't. It's just like a gimmick. And I, w I felt really betrayed when I bought this DX racer chair because that's the brand I got. There's so many different brands of gaming chairs out there nowadays. Um, I don't know how I came across DX Racer, but th this is the story. I was on Twitch and I was watching, of course, you know, my favorite content creators play video games and stuff. And I noticed every single person, this was years ago when I bought this chair, every single person was in a DX Racer chair. And I'm like, why is everyone in the same chair? It's so weird. And like every single one of them are in DX Racer's chair. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, 
man, these must be like some really good chairs. I'm a, I mean, everyone's got one. They look comfortable. They look cool. So I go on the website and I check the prices on these things. And my God, the prices on these things are ridiculous. Now, obviously, they got the lower tier models, the middle tier, and then the high tier. But it doesn't matter what tier it is. It's just crazy expensive when I was looking at this. So you know what? I bit the bullet. I really wanted one of these things. I even made a video about it um, years ago. You can look it up on the channel. And I was super like excited. Like, man, I got me a DX racer chair. I'm part of the cool club. You know, whatever. How, how lame is that, right? But here's the story. Those DX racer chairs were sent to each and every one of those guys. Every person you see that has a really big, big following, 95% of them, those chairs were given to them. And not, not only that... Those chairs, they are getting paid to sit in those chairs. It's almost like a sponsorship. Like they, like it's. I'll be honest. If someone gives me a phone call right now and they're like, "Hey, Sean, we'll give you five thousand dollars if you do ten live streams in our chair," so I'm going to take the five thousand dollars. I'm going to do those ten live streams just to sit in a chair. Yeah, that stuff happens. Believe it or not, clearly I'm nowhere near that big for something like that to happen. But things like that happen all the time because. It puts their product in front of thousands of viewers. People like me and you, when we're watching people stream on Twitch or whatever, we see them in these chairs and we're like, man, I want one of those. And it works. I mean, it worked on me. If you're watching this video and you own a gaming chair, maybe it worked on you. I'm, I'm dying to know. Leave a comment below if you own a gaming chair. Let's. I want to do a little survey here. If you own a gaming chair... Say which one you own in the comments below. I, I kind of want to get a feel for what's the most popular brand right now. Because back when I bought this chair, and this was several years ago, DX Racer was kind of like at the top. Like everyone was buying those. But I think that's kind of changed uh, nowadays. I think people are buying different ones. So let me know which gaming chair you have. The chair that I'm interested in right now, guys, there's different models of it. It's not a gaming chair. It's just called an executive chair, okay? It's an it's technically an office chair, and it's built and designed for people working in an office. And to me, when I'm editing videos and stuff or playing a video game, to me, it's like I'm in an office, and I want a chair that is performance designed for someone to sit there for 8 to 10 hours. Now, the reason why I started looking at chairs, I don't know if you guys know, but I did mention that I was going to be doing a 24-hour live stream playing Super Mario Brothers for 24 hours, see how many times I can beat it. I'm going for 200 completions. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It's going to be rough to do, but I'm going to try. But 24 hours playing a video game is going to be very strenuous on my body, and I ain't going to be able to do it in this chair. I'm just not going to be able to do it in this chair, so I have to get something better. And I'm going to be you know, seeing what my options are, but right now... I'm kind of looking at the, it's called the executive chair. Now there's, if you just look up the executive chair, you're going to come across a bunch of different chairs. So you're not going to actually know which one I'm looking at. All I can say is look at the prices, go to the actual stores, sit in the chairs, and I'll actually show, some of these chairs will show this chair is designed for eight hours. This chair is designed for 10 hours. I mean, they got different performance chairs. You get your gaming chair, it's just designed for gamers. That means it's designed for someone to just sit there for about an hour to play the game in. They're not really thinking about the crazy people like me, maybe like you, that are going to sit there all day and play a game. Okay, If you're looking for a chair like that, you might want to look elsewhere. You might not want to look for the DX racers. You might, wanna, you might not want to look for those other bucket racing style seats um those gaming chairs i just you know they make them so colorful they put all those pillows on them they, they make it towards like it's like a cool fad like you have to have it but honestly it's just super overpriced and it's really not worth it and when it comes down to it and you're playing for hours and hours in front of a television it's just really not that convenient either it's just not comfortable for your back or nothing like that now that's my thoughts and opinions again you know, I feel comfortable enough to say this, that it's true because I've experienced it for several, several years and I'm kind of fed up with it and it's time for a change. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Now, to be fair, if you get a nice high quality office chair, you're going to be spending a couple hundred dollars, you know, maybe even more if you want a really nice one. But honestly, it's more worth it because it, it's actually you're paying for what it's designed to do. That's actually made to be sitting there for eight to 10 hours. These things right here, they're just not. I've had to tighten the screws on these a couple times. It's just the, the pillows do nothing. 
it's just I'm I'm very dissatisfied uh, with the gaming chairs uh, today in the market. So I don't know. Let me know if you think I should change my mind. Maybe you own a gaming chair that you think is like a Rolls Royce or something. I don't know. All I can say is it's not the DX Racer. Pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again. Thank you.